The NFL Today on CBS is presented by Ram Trucks, Motor Trends Truck of the Year for the third year in a row. And welcome back to the NFL Today. And now Amazon takes you out to the sights and sounds of the game between the Steelers and the Browns. So let's get you out to Cleveland with our announcers, Jim Nance, Tony Romo, and Tracy Wolfson. JB, it's a sunny afternoon in downtown Cleveland. Two franchises separated by a bus ride. 137 miles stadium to stadium. Steelers and Browns coming up here on CBS. And hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Tony Romo and Tracy Wolfson. Happy Halloween to all of you and welcome into the AFC North. What a matchup we have today. This is the best and certainly the most balanced division in football as every team is 500 or better. There you see it. Cleveland four and three. Pittsburgh three and three. Let me bring in Tony and just talk about this. This rivalry. It's the hundredth time they're playing since the merger of 1970. It's always intense. Pittsburgh's had the, uh, the one sided uh, yeah. version of this for a long time but it's changing. It is changing and I, I keep using the term it's like a big brother and a little brother and the little brother is just too young you can't really compete with them for a while and all of a sudden that little brother just got big and that's what the Browns are they're big up front on offense and on defense and you know they kind of controlled it last year at the end of the season against the Steelers team so we're going to see today this is the big one. Yeah, well the big question right now though too is what about Baker Mayfield with the injuries to his shoulder his non throwing shoulder and he's going to go here today we don't know what it's going to look like or feel like for him I know I think he's going to throw the ball fine I mean when you watch him he's just fine he's out there he wouldn't be out there if he couldn't throw it the biggest key is early in the game when he takes a hit jam or he's on the bottom of a pile we got to see him he's going to wake up and his brain is going to go okay I can do this no problem or he's going to be like uh oh this is going to be a long game all right for more on Baker and the Browns injuries we send it to Tracy well, Jim, in order for Baker Mayfield to be out here today, the inflammation had to go down. It did. He had to pass a strength test, and he did. He's also wearing this harness today on his left arm where these straps go directly to his pad to keep that shoulder in place. I watched him in warm-ups, and he looked ready to roll. In terms of who he has out there today, Jarvis Landry, OBJ, both struggling with injuries. Kevin Stefanski telling me he doesn't know what he's going to get out of them. But he does know that they're going to have Nick Chubb back from that injury, and he's going to have a full workload today. As for the defense, no Denzel Ward dealing with that hamstring injury. Greedy Williams starts in his place, Jim. All right, Tracy, and what about Ben Roethlisberger? His body got a break last week with the bye. Aches and pains went away, and this offense starting to show some signs that it's operating now the way they want it to. Yes, and we did a game earlier in the year, and it did not look very good, and it didn't look like it was going to get better very soon, but this organization, Mike Tomlin, Matt Canada, Ben Roethlisberger, proud organization. They've righted the ship the last two weeks. They're handing the ball to Harris. This is going to be interesting. This is a different unit than we saw three weeks ago. Jim. I'll tell you what's also interesting, Tony, is the matchup with Miles Garrett and T.J. Watt in the same game today. And Watt, just a game record, just as Garrett is. He won the game last week in Seattle in overtime. And you got to watch out. Makes a ton of big plays, especially in key situations. Today, it's not just this quarterback gets that quarterback. This might be a little bit of T.J. Watt versus Miles Garrett. I love it. It's going to be fun to see as Garrett takes the field. Not sure there's any NFL player who celebrates Halloween more than Miles Garrett. We'll get into that during the broadcast. This place is rocking. The Halloween <laughs> atmosphere. If you like AFC North football, you're in the right place. Hey, it's fitting the day after the rock and roll latest Hall of Fame inductions just last night here in downtown Cleveland. But we've got football coming up. Steelers and Browns on CBS. rivalries in football. There are the two owners, Art Rooney, Jimmy Haslam, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland is coming up next on CBS.